Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur, and hey, guess what? Got the new logo. Yep, we're gonna make it more modern because why the heck not? Let's just keep things, you know, as interesting as we possibly can, considering Uber keeps giving us the same old BS over and over again. Just with a new coat of paint, so it seems kind of fitting, you know? Anyway, today I want to talk about a new feature Uber is adding to the app for the driver's safety. Now, I know a lot of you probably want me to talk about the mysterious Uber advisory meeting, board meeting, the second one. But to be honest, I never got the email. It's really weird. I never got the email about the mysterious second meeting for the um, Uber advisory board. I know it exists. I know it happened, or at least I think it did. So I'm going to hold off on that a couple more days. Maybe my letter got <laughs> lost in the mail, and then we'll talk about it. In the meantime, though, I did get another email from Uber, and that is that they are actually implementing some of the safety features we've been asking for for a long time. Serious. So on their Uber blog, it says your safety is our priority. Introducing new features that put safety at the heart of the driver app to help give you peace of mind on the road, which, of course, we'll talk about that in a bit. But you know what? Let's continue. Okay, first of all, here's a 911 assistance. Access help when you need it. If you're ever in an emergency assistance, you can call 911 in one tap. And some US cities will even automatically share your trip details with the 911 dispatcher. Now, this is both a good thing and a bad thing. And let's talk about the good thing first. First of all, I am glad, glad that they have this. I mean, being able to call 911 easily is definitely a pro. That and sharing like the trip details with the 911 correspondence so that you don't have to be talking about this and alerting the passenger that you are calling 911 even better. Slight bad thing, it's probably going to be hard to actually use this feature without you being noticed that you're calling 911. And this is where things get really icky because sometimes the mere act of dialing 911, if they're going to see you calling for help, um, that's going to create a huge problem. So Uber might want to consider, and this is genuine advice, Uber. I actually really want this feature, so I'm not going to be pissy about this one. I really want this to be a real thing. I would find a way so that the drivers could disguise it on the map so that it does not look like what it is actually. So, for example, maybe... Um, you can have like a star or a little pumpkin. Here's a, here's an idea. Here's an idea. I just thought of it. And maybe this isn't the greatest idea. But why don't you have a button on the app that if you need to call 911, you can tap the button. But what it also does is it changes the design on the car on the app. And if they ask what you press a button for, you can say, oh, you tap this button and... It changes some designs on the app and you show, you know, the app changing things. And so this way, it's like you're calling for help. You know you're calling for help, but they don't know that. And that would be really, really important, I think. So right now, it's a good half step. But the guy who is, you know, just random example, um, he has his hands all over you and you want to call 911 or he's super drunk and he's aggressive for whatever reason, you don't want to clue a person like that off that you're calling the cops on them. So if there's a way to disguise this and you can make it very clear to the driver, this is what this button actually does. Because not too many people are going to be touching your phone aside from you, at least not during the drive. Um, I think that would be very good for all the drivers involved. So nice introduction uber we need just a couple little more tweaks before this is perfect though but you know overall i'm glad about that one okay next one insurance information at your fingertips you can find your personal insurance documents enroll in driver inquiry protection and learn more about how you're covered driving with uber all in app well this i believe was already in the app i guess it's just going to be more apparent i don't know if i'd go so far as to call this a safety feature this is more of like a the information is at your fingertips now the issue with this, of course, is like whether or not people are going to read it. And that's not on Uber. It's not on Dar Karashahi. That is on you guys. You must always read your insurance policies and their insurance policies to know exactly how you're covered. If there are areas in there where you are not covered, you need to upgrade your insurance 
so that you are covered. For example, most people have asked me, why do I need ride share insurance? Because I have insurance and Uber has insurance. What is the ride share insurance for? And I've had to explain to people, unfortunately, there's this very little tricky blind spot where let's say you are in an accident and the app is on, but you have no passenger. That falls into a little bit of a blind spot. Uber will not pay the insurance because you don't have a passenger because they don't care about you. They, they, they never have. Your insurance company, unfortunately, also doesn't really care about you. I hate to say this. And what they will find out in their investigation is that you were on ride share when you got that accident. So they will say, hey, that's not us. That's on Uber. But Uber's not going to pay because there's no passenger. So the ride share insurance is extra. I, I pay an extra five dollars a month. I still do, even though I don't drive that often. But, you know, it's just good to have. With that extra $5 a month, in some cases it might be more, though. I'm just giving you a heads up. That little area is covered so that if you get into an accident, Uber's definitely going to say no. But your insurance company, since you have rideshare insurance, they will cover it at that point. So that is why it is very, very important for you to have rideshare insurance. And with this new feature, you can read, access your insurance documents much more easy and find out if all this stuff is covered. And I always recommend you periodically read insurance documents to find out what you are covered for and what you are not. Might not be much you can do about it except for buying more insurance, but it's just a good thing to know. So next thing, let loved ones know you're safe. Now this is actually kind of a neat feature. I'm not gonna lie. If you're driving late at night, find yourself in an unfamiliar area or just want your friends and family to follow along, you can easily share your trip details in one tap. I have to admit, that's kind of a nice idea and I never thought about it because, and that's something that I will probably be asking Katie to use more often because as you guys probably know, Katie does a lot more Uber and Lyft than I do. A heck of a lot more Uber and Lyft. She, um, she really enjoys it and she likes making the extra money and she likes, she uses it for like, you know, Disneyland passes and stuff like that. So that's a way she can get some extra money for herself and for us for the bills. So I like would like to know where she is. And so I'm usually telling her, hey, give me a call. Tell me where you are and stuff like that. So now instead of calling me, if she's really busy, she just taps this thing and she can let me know where she is and how long she's been doing it. And we have a record and it's also just nice to know where she is. So this is a very nice feature. I... I am actually pretty happy with this one up. You know, I've been fairly positive with Uber on this um, update. I actually thought I was going to be a little bit more cynical, but no, I, I'm actually kind of enjoying this so far. It probably won't last, but we'll see. Okay. And, oh yeah, this is one that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. <laughs> Helping you stay at a safe speed. You do your best to drive under the speed limit ju just in case we've added optional in-app alerts to help you keep track of your speed and the posted limits. Yeah, so okay, that one kind of, I rolled my eyes a little bit. It's not like it's an awful feature to have, it's just, uh, I don't know, that, that seems so unnecessary. And interestingly, they've already implemented this feature. And I remember one time I was on like the freeway, I was driving people and the freeway was empty, it was late at night. So I'm going a lot faster than I normally do. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say exactly how fast I was going because you don't want to incriminate, but at one point yourself in one of these things. But at one point, um, that little speed limit thing went up and it got big and then it started beeping this really annoying beep. And I felt that was a little bit more intrusive. Now, from Uber's perspective, yes, you are carrying passengers. You should be driving the speed limit. And I'm going to actually um, state you should be driving the speed limit. I'm not going to encourage you to speed. But I don't know. That seems more like of an intrusive thing. That's more of a telling me how to drive. It's kind of like their little thing where it's like, oh, well, you didn't use the brakes fast enough. You accelerated too fast. I And it's all GPS-based, and it's not exactly an exact science anyway. As good as these phones are, there's, they still misread information all the time, and I, I don't like the idea that Uber's keeping track of me that way because, again, they'll keep track of me in 
other areas of my life by doing this. So I think that's less about safety, more about them keeping track of you and telling you how to drive personally. Now then, let's go together. And I also, I'm going to just on a side note, say the go button is definitely kind of nice. So let's um, go back up here. And what do I feel about this? Well, as stated, as I went on, I was a lot less cynical about this than I thought I would be. The 911 call is a welcome addition. I'd like a little tweak to see so that people aren't aware that you're dialing 911 and sending that information out to emergency dispatchers. But hey, it's a start. It's a very, very good start. The share your trip information with loved ones at the tap. Hey, that's a great feature too. The speed limit thing, eh. But ultimately, it's still a little hollow in the sense that Uber still, at least in America, doesn't do the things they need to protect the drivers. They don't do the background checks for the riders. They don't suspend riders for bad behavior. They, you know, if someone reports dangerous behavior, Uber is very, very, very seldom to actually do anything about it. They're not going to suspend that person. They're not going to kick them off the platform. They're not going to notify the authorities. I mean, in fact, if you think about it, how many stories have you heard about women being assaulted on the road that uber by the drivers and uber doesn't even notify the police they don't even commit that the driver is going to be kicked off the platform sometimes it's the same thing with the riders especially the riders the riders are who pay the money they're the ones who feed uber's coffers so by that extension that's why every time you see a driver get on the on the world of youtube and they share these horrific writer stories and they share that information uber is not quick to act heck they almost never act because it's like well that person might have sexually assaulted this person they might have punched them they might have attacked them but hey unless you're on nbc or cnn or whatever news station you watch with your own fox you are not getting kicked off this platform because that person paid the $3.80 to get to their destination and the driver didn't. So who cares if they had to go to the emergency room? And that's just the reality of it. Now, again, these safety features are nice. They are nice. And with a little tweak improvement, then I could definitely, I will take them. I will take them. I want the drivers to be as safe out there as possible, especially since they're making so little money. I had to actually take an Uber ride a couple days ago. Don't I tipped the lady $5 and... She was a very nice lady, and she was driving fairly late. This was 9.30. That's about the time women really need to start getting off the road because drunk people start coming in, and I was a little concerned about her. So knowing features like this are coming, it does make me a little happy. I just wish Uber would have been doing more a lot sooner, and I wish that they would hold the riders to the same standards. They hold the drivers, but of course, as you're going to find out with a video I'm going to make this week about an eBay buyer that I'm having an issue with, that's just so really the case. So anyway, what do you folks think of these features? Do you like them? Do you dislike them? Do you think they don't go far enough? Do you think that they're a good first step? Do you think they're just what we need? I would love to know. So comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, but even as little as one dollar a month goes a long way to helping the channel run smoothly. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.